Hello and welcome to Fallout 76. The hype around Fallout right now is insane. And anyone that's been following this channel knows how much I love Fallout games and how much I love this franchise. So, uh, we're going to play the game again from the beginning. Um, I've not played this game for about three or four years now, so it's been a long time. Um, I've heard the game was definitely done the complete 360, a very controversial launch, and it's now a pretty solid game. Um, it's the most recent Fallout game. Uh, I am planning on checking out the next gen Fallout 4 update, so keep an eye out for that. But yeah, let's jump in. Let's play Fallout 76. Let's do it. changes. In 1776, this great nation accepted that armed conflict was the only way to preserve our rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. If our founding fathers could only see us now. From Antietam to Amiens, Okinawa to Anchorage, we have fought. And now, the Red Menace is at our doorstep. Democracy itself is under threat of annihilation. That is why today, July 4th, 2076, 300 years after our great nation began, we gather together to honor the completion of Vault 76. This sprawling underground shelter may have been engineered by Vault Tech. But it was built by you, the good people of America. So that if the bombs do come, if the end does come, our way of life will endure. But not everyone will be saved. Those chosen to enter this vault must be our best and our brightest. For when the fighting has stopped and the fallout has settled, you must rebuild. Not just walls, not just buildings, but hearts and minds, and ultimately, America itself. So as we stand here today, we pray that the world will know peace. But if that is not our destiny, if war must come, we stand together knowing that here in Vault 76, our future begins. It's the Overseer. This is the Overseer. I hope you all enjoyed the party last night, even those who may have overindulged and overslept. But so I believe it's a little bit different this time around. I believe we're all going out at the same time. It's more of like a celebration. Face number one. Reclamation day. Uh... I don't know about the eye colors. But I'll never forget the day you all entered Vault 76. Light green bloodshot? You come from every <laughs> walk of life. Let's not do that. Face, color, and creed. But Let's you go for brown. all share one very important trait. You are this country's best and brightest. But more importantly, you'll always be my family. That's pretty much what my beard looks like. <laughs> I need to sort that out. I don't know. Uh, anyway, um, <laughs> survivalist. That's a, that's a good beard. That's a very good beard. I'm not going to do too much customization. I'm pretty happy with the character already, to be honest. Um, I might even leave it there, actually. Uh, body. More muscular. My man works out. Yes, it's more of a celebration, more than anyone sneaking out. Um, I have Fallout 3. Up on the channel, I've got like a full series with no commentary 
and a very old series that I played. So I might sound a bit different. Uh, Fallout 4 is up on the channel as well. Did I play? Have I played Fallout New Vegas on the channel? I don't know, actually. That's a good question. Um, right. Uh, let's call you Game Riot. How original. Level 1. Look at him. Looking good. Boom. Perfect. Happy with that. Right, should we get out? I feel like we should go. You have been invited. Happy Replication Day. Today is the day, everyone. We're preparing for this moment for 25 years. We're ready. You're ready. America is waiting for us. So let's get out there, the Overseer. Um, please, in the comments, by the way, do not spoil the series. Um, I've watched two episodes. Pretty much watching one per day at the moment. Um, love it so far. Love it. For me, it's like 9 out of 10. Not going to say any more than that. <gasps> the Pit Boy. Oh, yeah. And what I like, the crew seem to have been like, yeah, we played the games. We checked out the source material. And we love it. Um, I, I've done it for research, and I really enjoyed it, which is awesome. Television. Right, so this is my Pit Boy. So health, status effects, items, data. What I like about actually all the games is the Pip-Boy is pretty similar as well. And one thing I am hoping, I'm hoping, um, what am I trying to say here? I'm hoping the, the TV series doesn't make these redundant, these games, if that makes sense. It's all part of the, the same universe, I hope. Again, don't spoil in the comments. He's completely overslept. Fallout 76. Such a huge responsibility. Just know that Vault Tech is proud of you. I am proud of you. When I mean, you hear this, it means I've been gone for several hours. Oh. I've got my own mission out there in Appalachia. Appalachia. This is the Overseer signing off. Stay hydrated. Sir, uh, you've stayed so long past Reclamation Day, our stores are nearly depleted. Oh boy. Am I the last one left? I think I'm the last one left. Great. Purify water, that is rare. That is very rare. Well, fairly rare. All uh, right, let's get out of there. I need a weapon. Give me a weapon. How will I defend myself? If oh, Stimpaks. Injured, you may have seen these already. If you guys have been watching the series. Make use of Stimpaks. They are literal And Radway. They are. They definitely are. I was about to spoil something then. What, what's, wrong, what's wrong with me? Uh, building supplies. Building is a part of the game. Was added in Fallout 4. Yeah, not a massive fan, but we'll move. So is that the exit? Is there anything else, Frankie? Ah, one of Vault 76's last Ooh. remaining residents finally awakens. One second. Again. What's the overseer's mission? Uh, 25 years after the vault doors close, you are to prepare your citizens to leave Vault 76 and begin a process called reclamation. Specifics will be. It disanimated automatically as that time approaches. After Reclamation Day, you are personally ordered to find and secure three nuclear silos. What? Codenamed Alpha Bravo Charlie. If these sites are still nuclear capable, ensure no one expect except vault Tech can assess or launch the nuclear ordinance. Oh boy. Okay, sure. That's fair. Vault 76 is the most important project the Vault Tech has completed. Wow, that is quite a statement. So not every vault, um, <laughs> how do I put this? Not every vault is a positive vault. It's not full of people just staying away from the radiation. It's, it's yeah, it's there's more to it than that, for sure. Play or eject the, oh, one sec. Where is, there we go. Done. I ejected the holotape. I guess I can play that whenever I fancy. Right, let's get outside. I really could do with a weapon, guys. Aha! 
What's this? Ooh, can I take it? You may have seen this particular robot um, in the intro of the series. I think that's a massive spoiler, right? I'm trying to be careful here right now. I'm like, Please don't spoil it, but I'm also spoiling it for other people. Great job, Scout. Incredible YouTuber, as always. Glasses? What? I'll equip these. So we are quite amazing, aren't we? Well, some humans are amazing anyway. Because they want these hats. Well, that's disappointing. We Honestly, we are the last person to leave this vault. <laughs> Just incredible. All right, let's go. Open sesames. I remember doing this for the first time in Fallout 3. So good. Thank you. A true moment I don't think I'll, I'll ever forget. I just, yeah. I just won't ever forget it. So, so good. Battle ready dwellers. What's this? I can skip to level 20? Ooh. Oh, I don't know. I didn't know this was going to be an option. Uh, <laughs> I'm tempted to go for just for fresh, which might be a terrible, terrible idea. Um, we're going for a fresh dweller. Ooh, so it's between first aid and probably action dweller. Let's go for first aid. Let me know, was that a mistake to not skip to level 20? Pr probably was, wasn't it? I still wanted to start afresh and start from the beginning. I don't want to like feel too powerful. Uh, yeah, I know there's been a lot of content since obviously the game came out, so maybe that was a mistake. But maybe. <laughs> We're out. Right, time to find a weapon first. Give me a weapon. Slap it up as well. Nice. Should we? pick something or did we already pick something <laughs> uh perks yeah i think we're done for the moment well i've been i've not played this game for a while have i i believe do we have oh we don't have any armor oh man i bought the um well i reclaimed claimed the vault 33 outfit but i don't have it why is that? Ah, oh, power is craftable and armored workbench. Okay, got it. That's what I want. I want to get that. I want to be a Vault 33 member. Oh, <laughs> Not sir. quite how it works, but Those you know what I mean. young ladies down there, they seem exceedingly alive. Okay. They haven't yet made any untoward advances, but perhaps you could speak to them? Verify their intentions are... Civil? <laughs> Have you seen the overseer? Well, yes, but it's been some time. Twenty-four but hours. She was there. a resourceful woman. Really? I, I'm, I'm sure she's all right. I'm sure we bump into her. Uh, you sound like you think there's something. They're up to something, maybe. I've been keeping watch here long enough to have learned that outside the vault. People don't always have one's best intentions at heart. I'm sorry to say it, but it's the truth. Um, any ideas on what those two are doing up here? Only that they appear to have some vested interest in accessing the vault. One seemed quite perturbed when I told them that wouldn't be happening. But I'm not sure if she believed me. Uh, what's been going on here? Lately. Until quite recently, it's been exceedingly peaceful. I maintained my post, greeted latecomers out of the vault, and otherwise reveled in Appalachia's natural splendor. But very recently, it seems people have come back to Appalachia. Those two and more to boot. The non-vault sort, you understand. It's Ugh. all very concerning. Who knows what they might be up to? Well, do you, you at least going to give me a weapon or what? Do be careful out there, I'll sir. Try. I'll try. 
Oh, we do have a weapon. Nice. When did, when did I... Oh, no. Fall. Don't want to talk to you. Thank you. All right, let's go and um, have a word. There's got to be a way in there. I'm going to try to get inside the bowl, aren't I? Wait, how hey there. dare you? Wooden leg? Oh, how you saw? Hello. What are you up Whoa. to? Whoa. Just a friend here. Not, Not a, a threat. threat. Just Calm had some down. questions for you. You came out of the vault, right? I did. I thought it was empty. Wait. Is the door still open? I don't, actually don't know. The door is sealed tight. No one's getting in. God damn it. Apart from me, hopefully. <sighs> We got a tip from the Wayward. Heard of the place? A new bar down the road. I so haven't been out here, told so. us that After you gave him the last of our caps. And he said that inside that vault is the... You know, that's where the big one is. Our last chance to turn our lousy luck around. The big one? The big what? Oh yeah, the big one is in there. <laughs> we managed to trap it in there, but I barely made it out alive. I might just lie, actually, why not? What? <laughs> I been there. He's jerking you around, Lacey. Face it. We got scammed. But those were the last of our caps. No. Someone has to know something. We're just gonna stick it out until we find them. Wonderful. <laughs> Look, thanks for whatever. There's no need for now, that attitude, is there? Unless there was something you needed. Um, I'm gonna. Am I now gonna ask for help? You got any spare weapons? They didn't give you a weapon. I guess I've got something I could spare. Here. Apparently, I already had something, like machete. Some. How did I get a pistol, by the way? Honestly, I have no idea. Um, want to tell me what this big one is you're looking for? You certainly could, but since you decided to yank our chains, I'm gonna say no. Ah, that's that's fair. Uh, did you see another vault dweller go by an overseer? Maybe I did. Or maybe you should ask the thing you've got trapped inside the vault. Okay. That's, you're not helping, are you? We both came <laughs> over from Virginia. Well, what was Virginia? There's a lot more hot zones that way. And the few spots that are livable, well, they got picked clean fast. I mean, Appalachia's dangerous. Really dangerous. But it's better than where we've been. Uh, can you tell me about the area? About Appalachia? Is Other it... than it's a graveyard. Oh, okay. There's that. We haven't been here real long, but from what we've been able to piece together, the area got hit pretty hard. Not long after, well, these things showed up. Things? The scorched. They're merciless. They seem to have cleaned up whoever the bombs might have missed. Without people around, everything else has gone haywire. Right. Mm -hmm. I may be going, I guess. Bye. Mm-hmm. Can I shoot them? No. <laughs> it's worth a try. Uh, do we know where we're going? I sure hope so. Man, this brings back some memories. Yeah, it's definitely one of those incredibly controversial launches. Probably the most... Oh, hello. Just you. Great shooting, Escar. Any more? Fuck, I can hear them. Ah! God damn. Got a little bit of radiation as well. Lovely. Yeah, radiation is, is pretty big in the game. Uh, also, the currency in this game is bottle caps. Yep. Bottle caps from a glass, uh, you know, a glass bottle. A Coke bottle. <laughs> they will be very, very valuable. I must admit, you don't see those often these days, so they're fairly valuable at the moment. Who's this guy? I swear this game looks so different to when I last played it. It's hard work making a living out here. I bet it is. Gotta keep a lookout for raiders. Gotta keep a tab on raider whereabouts. Can I steal any of this stuff then? Fully mines? Thank you! Uh, 10 millimeter ammo is for this pistol, so, yep, perfect. Yeah, I think Fallout 3 was definitely one of those games that I properly fell in love with, like, very, very quickly. I played all the DLC when it came out, even though it was um, pretty much all broken when it came out. 
Yeah, it's one of those first games that I really got excited for the additional content, really. Can you get some more action points, please? I want to run a bit longer, please. All right, so that's where we're going. Level 21, what a show off. I wonder if I'm going to regret not leveling to 20 because <laughs> everyone else is going to be level 20 and little old me is going to be a bit underpowered. I mean, as long as I've got fairly good weapons, I guess. Where's the path? I've gone completely off the path. I don't know how I do this sometimes. Is that a scorch? No, that's not a scorch. <laughs> Definitely not. Uh, I would say this map probably has more like foliage and greenery than other Fallout games. I think that's, I think that's fair. I might try and um, increase the FOV at some point. Yeah, I definitely want to get before the end of this video get the Fallout 33 outfit on. That's that's one of my goals. One million percent. If you guys have never played a Fallout game before and you've been watching the series and you want to check it out, just go for it. Absolutely go for it. Oh, hello. Have you got a weapon? Whoa! Diddly Dundon. That wasn't a particularly nice welcome, was it? Little clap pistol. Oh, just found a new quest. Personally, I really like uh, Fallout 3. That's probably my, my favourite one. Um, and very close to that is probably... Is that a cat? What the hell? And probably next to that is probably New Vegas. And then Fallout 4. Fallout 4 is not a bad game. It just didn't quite connect with me in the same way. Which I think I think is fair. Uh, most of the stuff you pick up, you probably sell for something. Uh, even typewriters you can make some money on. So early on, feel free to loot as much as you want. You'll work out eventually what's what's valuable. Is that, that's a lot of players. And generally, uh, on this game, Fallout 76, obviously this is the latest Fallout game. Uh, made by the same guys that made Skyrim. Um, Skyrim, obviously Fallout 3, Fallout 4. What else did they make? Elder Scrolls, Oblivion, a very, very popular studio. And as far as I've, from what I've heard, the community, I'm sure there's a few idiots, but the community is fairly friendly. Mind that we're great in this, but is everyone friendly here? I hope so. What's happening here? Hello. Is this person about to be shot? Well, this feels a bit hostile. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. I don't know if my mic's on. Is my mic on? Might be on. Maybe. I have no idea. But it's actually quite embarrassing. It's happened a lot in video games where I'm doing like a video and I'm talking. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. And uh, my mic's on, which is a bit embarrassing. We're headed in. You can see already, people off at level two, that's the same level as me. Team only interior. This private area is unique. Okay, sure. So it's um no you got no friendly fire. Oh yeah. No shooting each other. Anyone here? Lady, I will paint the wall. Ooh. Honey, you picked the wrong time to get a drink. Yeah. Hey, who the hell are you? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Chill out. Um, I'm pretty sure we can't do these. Nope. Um, should we just go straight for an attack here, or should we do a bit of dialogue? Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's going on? None of your damn business. What's He's going chill on? Is that out. This one seems to think I know where this big treasure is, and that I'm building my new bar out of refuse for fun. Lady, this is your last warning. Our crew is getting that treasure. And I will happily send you both to the great goddamn beyond if you don't start explaining where I can find what's ours. Hmm, what do we do here? Are you hiring? Hiring? 
you serious? <laughs> you got a gun in your face, and the first thing that comes to mind is picking up a side gig? <laughs> hmm. Guts like that might take you places. Oh. Let's say you and I finish shaking down this broad and. Whoa. And he's dead. Is gonna end badly. Now, I, I did it on purpose. Here to have a drink and play nice. I've had a gun pointed at me more than enough for one day. Who? That was um. Well, not exactly the hostile. introduction to the wayward I would have hoped for. Oh, sorry about that, darling. First round's on me. Name's Duchess. There's something I could do for you. Um, what was this all about? He said something about treasure. Is this vault, vault, vault forty-seven again? Forty, forty-seven. <laughs> Uh, 76 got there in the end. Your guess is as good as mine, sweetheart. He busted in here saying I needed to turn over the location of some fellow named Crane, who I guess I must have served at some point or another. Since then, a steady stream of miscreants has been making my life irritating. Not exactly good for a budding business. Okay. Are uh, you looking for some help dealing with these fucks? Now that you mention it, Ooh. I could use an extra pair of hands. There we go. See, that boy we put down? He's not the first of his crew to roll in here. But I want him to be the last. Normally, I'd send my people out to clean house. But my muscles run off, so I don't have the bodies to spare right now. But I'm willing to pay good money if you put an end to this for me. So, what do you say? I'm, I'm up for it. I'd like to hear, yeah, let's hear the plan first. Oh, actually, let's hear about the money. How many bottle caps are you gonna, gonna give me? Uh, by the way, Fallout 76 is the only uh, multiplayer Fallout game. Uh, so Fallout 3, 4, New Vegas are all single player. In case you guys are randomly caps curious. If you can get the job done. Ooh. Okay, let's, um, let's hear the plan. Only seems fair. The details then. Now. Each of these boys came in asking after Crane. I'm thinking we can make that work for us. How would you grab the attention of a bunch of single-minded thugs? Ooh, what do we do here? So, charisma, male invitation potentially? Maybe. You want me to pretend to be Crane? Don't you? Yeah, that's, I bet you do. Well, aren't you a smart cookie? Oh, and you're I clever clogs. I know just how to do it. Just give me one second. What's going on? <laughs> uh, you sort of see these people get in day to day, like oh, acting weird like this, like NPCs. I oh. just want you to know architecture ain't exactly my forte. Huh? Yeah. Not half bad. So what I have chicken scratched together here for you is the schematic for one custom-made Crane Treasure Hunting Inc. sign. If I didn't butcher the plans too bad, it's got a little system built in that'll make sending out an advertisement and getting this gang's attention a snap. You just need to build it, use the tape it spits out to tell the world you're open for business, and then convince any punks that show up to tell you where their boss is hiding. They did teach you all how to build from schematics up in that vault of yours, didn't they? Uh, probably? Pro I don't know. Yeah? That's the spirit. Hey, if you need a refresher, good old Morty Mort can help you out. What are you on about, Mordecai? Hey, nah, I'm not bragging or anything. But I've got some tapes that cover that very subject. Oh, Mort, not the tapes. Well, you find yourself wanting a refresher? Talk to Mort. Of course, you're going to need materials, but we should have enough lying around to cover you there. Get you together a little care package. Throw some rations in there, too, so you don't starve on me. And so, so you know, important. you might yep. have to break some of this scrap down for parts. But I can spot you some workbench materials, too, since you're doing me such a big one. Who knows? Maybe you'll learn something while you do it. Well, let's do it. Now, okay. you ready to get this show on the road? Oh, I'm ready. Let's do this. Oh, um, have you seen an overseer, by the way? Overseer, huh? So you must be the one. <laughs> no, 
I haven't seen her, but I have heard her. My people oh. found a tape just on the other side of the road that it seems she left behind for one of her dwellers, though it's a bit out of date now. Maybe it was waiting there for you. Happy to give it to you, so long as you're still willing to help us. Okay. Okay, I could get a tape here. Let's do it. Hot dog. Be good to have those dolts off our back at long last. Just make sure once you find out where they're hiding, that their leader gets the message. The wayward gets left alone. And here, that overseer tape. Sounds like she set up that camp across the way so her people could get some practice in self-reliance. Probably worth looking into if you think you could use a refresher. All right, got some caps already. Uh, more? I could do with a help. I, I could definitely do some help. Let's Glad help me out. Your vault tech actually took care of some of their people. You hear these rumors, right, about them just throwing folks to the wolves. Here's some rations and a fancy suit. Good luck. Well, don't you worry. Yeah, that some bolts are good. Some bolts are bad. You are in good company now, because around here we look after one another. Now, what can I do for you? Can you um teach me the ways? You killed that man. You did. <laughs> um, can you teach me about losing this camp? Listen, friend. You happen to be talking to the exact right person to fix okay. your predicament. Okay. Coming but in, Mort. Let's do it. If I'm gonna help you. I want something in return. Oh boy. And what is that exactly? All right, listen. I got this plan. Oh boy. You're gonna help me get rich. Oh boy. See, the <laughs> folks who made it big off the gold rush, they weren't the prospectors. They were the folks that sold them their shovels. Now, I don't do shovels. What I collect is knowledge. I can go all sorts of places you folks with your rad sucking skin can't. So, I'm selling what I've got between my ear holes, and you're going to test it for me. I made these hollow tapes. Now, this sets all the info I dug up about that camp doohickey you bolters got. All I'm asking is you give them a listen and let me know what you think. Okay, sure. You will? Oh, thank you. I mean, <clears throat> thanks. Just come back once you've taken them out for a test drive. Now, is there anything else you wanted to chat about? So we got, um, oh, you got loads. Oh, sweet. Thank you. I'm hoping this is going to help. Let's do it, baby. We'll just level up again. We're level three. So we don't, we don't need to get to level 20. We don't need to skip to beat, beat the game. Don't be silly. Let's start from scratch. So... We need a camp, so let's play. Ah, here we go. Um, let's listen to the camp. Uh, listen to this one. Place in your camp. Put the tape in. What? Hello. Holy Hello. moly! This is Mort McCoy. What the and hell? To the first of Headmaster Mort's edu tapes. Today what? we're talking about <laughs> your camp. Now, former vault resident or someone who killed a vault resident, let's start off with the basics. Placing your camp. When placing down your camp, C-A-M-P, that's an acronym, for the first time, remember to... Crap. Play here. Remember to take the lay of the land. Consider the grade of the terrain. General defensibility and proximity to your surroundings. Could that cliff edge be used to protect oh your flank? You bet your chops it could. Once you found the perfect spot, it's time to move on to the best part of working with your cat. Construction! Construction can be an intricate process, so a steady hand and an eye for detainment. <clears throat> Is that a bag? Oh, it's Dale's bag. I for details Random. are a must. You should take a moment to familiarize yourself with the camp's patented intuitive construction interface. But don't worry. We'll cover construction in gory detail in the next of Headmaster Mort's edutapes. So long. Get your chance. Come on. 
Alright, what else do we need, guys? Uh, we need to build a weapon workbench. Is that it? That's an armoured workbench. A weapon bench. Yay. Like I'm just putting this in the middle of the road. Oh, well. Uh, put it there. Uh, and then the armour workbench. Can I put that down as well? Yep. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, we can spin it. There we go. <laughs> I knew we could do that. Man, it's been a long time since I played this game. Right. Uh, read the plan crane treasure hunting sign somatics from the infantry. Hunter for hire. Listen to the overseer's log on the camp, okay. Or we can scrap. Oh, there's a lot of things we can scrap. Uh, can I make... Oh, I've got a little backpack. That's quite cute, actually. Um, outfits. Oh, they're still not here. What? Where is it? Where's the Vault 33 outfit? I need it. It's not here. What a, what an absolute joke. That is all I wanted. Aha! It is here. I need gold. What? How do I get gold? Aha! Is this the sign? I can't even see it so big. Sure. Boom. There you go. Broadcast tape issued. Please deposit data tape into any relay system. Load broadcast tape into radio tower. So there's a broadcast tower over here. I believe I need to put that in there. Um, also listen to the overseer's hollow tape about the camp overseer's while we're on the move. South of Vault 76. I, I knew this wasn't going to be the Appalachia I remembered, but mutated animals, haywire bots. And... It's kicking off over there. No people so far. We have to be ready to rebuild in. What I can confirm is hostile territory. Is this someone else's camp? Vault Tech was prepared. You see this? The cooking station, the stash box, the workbenches, all built with the camp. You need a home base out there. The construction and assembly mobile platform is designed to give you one. Just add resources, planning, and a little elbow grease. When you move your camp, everything you've built is stored, ready to be placed back down in the new area. Use this to establish a foothold whenever you're in unfamiliar territory. I've left my camp behind so you can use it. I know I'm breaking my own advice by not taking it with me. But after seeing Appalachia myself, I need to make sure every resident of 76 has a safe haven they can start from. I'll make do without it. If it's still standing, the town of Flatwoods is further down this road. Find me there. Okay, this got it. Overseer. Signing off. That's where we're going next. Did a bit of climbing here. It wasn't my intention, but here we are. So we could go straight to Flatwoods. Um, I am looking for this. I'm going to put the broadcast tape into the radio tower and see what happens, just because I'm curious. Yeah, we could go straight to Flatwoods. I'm about getting the mission done. I wonder, I'm really curious. Obviously, this is a, you can sort of put money into this game. It's like a, it's called like a Fallout First or something like that. It's like a monthly amount. You get like a few benefits here and there. I wonder if this game was made more for Bethesda than Fallout 4. Surely not, right? I'd love to see, like, some of the numbers, though. They'd be very, very intriguing. Or even more than Fallout 3, maybe. I don't know. So I've been bidding on some stuff on eBay, and it's, my phone's going mental. I'm basically trying to build um, with all this recent stuff about oh hello Stimpaks obviously all going digital I wanted to make sure I'm ready I want to have like a really cool physical library also over the years um, I've sold a lot of my my 
physical games. I want to try and get some of them back. Um, and it's not cheap. Whoa! Jesus! Right, let's put the tape in. Uh, -huh. uh that's not good. Um, <laughs> can we load the tape in? Broadcast tape. There we go. Let's see if this works. Oh. Message uploaded. Get out, get out, get out. Pause. Ah! Jesus. Attention. Is it done? Return to the camp. I will. Please we have fast travel back, actually. Crane. Treasure hunting. Also, I've not used VATS yet. <laughs> VATS does work a bit different in this game. It's not as effective. It's almost a bit pointless. Because other people are playing the game. Um, in other Fallout games, you can use the bats, you can slow down time, select body parts. So a really good technique is shooting the arms or shooting a leg to like slow them down. This game has it, but it's not as useful because it's still in like real time. So you can still lock in and try and shoot an individual body part. But it's a bit pointless. It's a bit pointless. Again, one of the uh, controversial decisions that were put into this game. Um, I'm going to see if we can have fast travel back. I'm pretty sure we can. Fast travel! There we go. Beautiful. Already level three. Progressing through some of the missions. Things are going pretty well so far. I'm a happy bunny. Uh, right. Wait to see um, who draws the site. So we've got to just wait here? Yeah? Okay, sure. Why not? I didn't realize I had a little ponytail. <laughs> Is that the haircut I picked? Oh, do I hear voices? Hello, treasure hunter. You all right, mate? That was quick. You want to chat? Whoa, you're not Crane. What the hell's going on here? I might be Crane. Where's your gang? Tell me. Or I'll eat your apples. Whoa, whoa! I'm not with any gang. Crane has Chill just out. been MIA for a while. I was hoping to check in with him. You know where he is? Um, your guess is as good as mine. Last place he was spotted um, was this bar down the hill from Vault 40... What are you saying 40? Uh, 76, The Wayward. The Wayward, huh? It might be I paid the place a visit. Appreciate the tip, not Crane. Good luck out here. Was that a bad idea? Probably was, wasn't it? Can I shoot him? Lows! Anyone else coming? These guys look suspicious. Well, well, well. Baseball. I wanted to talk about what that means, but yeah, baseball, baseball base. Where they sort of slide into, right? Hello. You cra Free radicals. Oh. Thought you were some kind of big shot. Uh oh. So, rumor is you've uh -oh. got information <laughs> our boss wants. You tell me where this treasure is, and he's willing to leave you alone. Scouts okay. Honor. I don't believe you. No. You tell me where your hideout is, or I'll turn you inside out. What? Uh, uh, sure. Fine, fine. We, we, <laughs> that was we easy. took over the old West Virginia Lumber Company uh, in the Northwest. C come on. Let's get out of here. What was that? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Absolute. Bring me crane. Look at that. Male build middle dangerous allegedly not but be careful first person to get to him and get the location of his treasure gets a share of the overall take again if you believe that you are incredibly naive some scissors I don't want to be carrying too much see all these materials we can use don't want a wooden lev no I'm good thanks <laughs> um, you can favourite items so obviously if you really like an, uh, a, a, a weapon you like or whatever it won't scrap without a warning, like you've just seen. The wayward. Are you friendly? Yeah. 
I'm sure I tried to kill that at one point. Don't know why. You can do whatever you want in this game. You can do whatever you want. Right, I do have an update of the Duchess. Well, you don't look too worse for wear. You managed to figure out where those miscreants are hiding. Um, I did. Sounds like the headquarters is at West Virginia Lumber Company. Fantastic. So that's where their boss will be. You just need to... Wait, wait West Virginia Lumber? Wait, that is not right. You misheard them for sure. And that's of concern. Why, exactly? Was wandering up that way not too far back. The lumber company? That place was overrun with a bunch of those big green bastards. Mutants. You've seen those Frankensteins. If this gang was able to clean those things out of the mill, Duchess, these guys might be tougher than advertised. Hmm. You got any recommendations on how you'd proceed? Well, I wouldn't go in guns blazing, unless you got some big guns. Could try and luck your way inside, maybe see if they want to talk to you. But there was this family I ran into up that way that I'm sure has had to deal with them already. There was also this, uh, let's say, special scrapper who was making some pretty bold claims about his knowledge of the mill. Wouldn't be a bad idea to check in with either of them. Got a few leads. Uh, tell about this, this scrapper dude. Found him living in the stalls at Tyler County Fairground. Okay. Guy kept claiming he knew the best way to run the mutants out of the mill. But listen, I couldn't get him this bill, Hal. Probably have a better chance he'll share what he learned with someone who still has an entire face. Fair play. Um, and about this family? You'll find them at Anchor Farm if these thugs haven't already run them off. But if they are still there, well, they probably managed to work something out with them. Hey, it couldn't hurt to find out what it was. I think we just got guns blazing. Well, that's a I good thing. I reckon so. Because that's all I've got. Oh. If you haven't already explored up that way, the fastest route back would be via Vault 76 and trekking north from there. And take care of yourself, all right? You're doing us a big one here. So I got convinced the gang needs to leave or just kill him. I'm I'm fine with the with the killing option personally. <laughs> so this almost feels like a bit of a trap, doesn't it? Um, it really does. Or we could head straight for Flatwoods as well. Uh, let's go back to Fault. So yeah, definitely, there's a little bit of traveling here, which is fine. So we've got a farm, and then we have the fairgrounds as well, and that's where we need to get to eventually. Or we could head. To Flatwoods, which is just down the road. Uh, we could head to. Let's go to Flatwoods first. As we're here, it makes sense, right? Um, let's do that. Toggle active. Oh, it was active. Yeah, let's go. Let's go and do that fast. As we're here, and obviously, eventually, we go back and do some investigation. Yeah, it feels like the the free radicals we spoke to. Um, obviously led us into a trap. We are just going to turn up, be outgunned, and probably die instantly. Luckily, we did a bit of research before we went there. Yep, are these two-headed cows? Yep. <laughs> Not good. Yeah, so the overseer put a workbench out, which is this one here, which I believe is always going to be there. And some moron put this here, but we'll, we'll ignore that. No idea who did that. Mate, you did. Who's this guy? The Brotherhood? Oh. Well, a Brotherhood hopeful. I came too far to get turned down now. Think I'll make the cut? I'm sure if you got the determination. Up, getting in on the ground floor. Why not? How about you? Fine, Might fine, do. this keep the peace idea these Brotherhood types are putting down. How good is the condition of this weapon? I probably should have checked. I'm joining the Brotherhood. Can we repair it? <laughs> well, that's actually pretty good condition. Wow. It's like brand spanking new. Beautiful. Yeah, so we're going to head to Flatwood. Oh, hello, farmhand. Yeah, does that? That's not that. <laughs> I love the backpack. 
Uh, I believe you can get the backpack again from Vault 33 from the series. I believe you can get it for free. I'm not sure, though. You might have to be a Vault a Fallout first uh, subscriber. I should have done a tweet today. Uh, if you guys don't follow me on Twitter, please do. Whoa. Is it just him? Great shooting, Esca. Kicking off. I think I'll leave the radiated dog meat to one side for now, but thank you anyway. I'll be at Flatwood yet. Oh, we're fairly close. Is that a mole rat? Oh, they are hideous. Obviously, every kill we do... We get a lovely bit of XP for it as well, so that's always worth doing. I've got plenty of ammo as well. See the ammo count. Got grenades ready to fire. Green County Lodge. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm guessing we're looking for another tape. That's my guess. In that church, potentially. Um, if you guys would like me to do a part two. Let me know in the comments. Let me know right now. Oh yeah, so I was, doing, I was doing a tweet about subscriptions and whether you decided to cancel. The, the prices keep going up. I was wondering if any of you guys have maybe cancelled them or edited the plans in some ways. I've done, I've done a bit of editing. I've used, I've got the cheapest Netflix. Um, I haven't paid for like the extra ad-free Amazon Prime. But I do have Amazon Prime, um, obviously for deliveries and stuff as well. Have Disney Plus because my daughter loves Disney Plus, and I feel like I'd be shot if I <laughs> if I cancelled that. Even I would be tempted. Ooh, we have a new log. Overseer's log. A cupboard. What? A cupboard? What? Standies. My Water God. pump. Nice. There's no one here. The old tavern, the church. People were using them for shelter, but thank God. Mutations we expected. There's something else. A disease. I was attacked by... Well, it used to be a person. But it had these green, glowing lesions. Oh, she's working out what's voice. happened. Angry. Tortured. We are one. One what? Whatever happened here is beyond anything we expected. And we expected a lot. Worse than what I expected. Before they were wow. wiped out, the survivors called themselves the responders. Looks like they were made of firefighters, police, emergency medical staff. They even have an automated system to teach people about treating water, food, survival. I'm doing their tests, and you should too. I know it's even worse than we imagined, but someone's got to know where the missile silos are and how to secure them. The responders are the best lead we have. This is the Overseer, signing off. She does sound a bit shocked. <laughs> uh, yeah. Login. Guest. Print it. We can print it. So how do we become a volunteer? Is that working? Wow. Fair play. Uh, right. Let's go and become a volunteer. Volunteers needed. Well, I'm, I'm ready to sign up. Let's do it. Is this the kiosk? This program was developed to turn regular survivors into certified responder volunteers. As a volunteer, your job is to help others. And our job as responders is to help everybody, including you. Yay! I've got a new photo mode. Yay. Right. McDermott. D -d Dermot. Is that where we're going? Option search for her location. Oh, she's assisting uh, locations in the system. Uh, let's 
Pathfinder. There we go. Beautiful. So I didn't realise there was a directory there as well. So she's near the river? Would the river not be radiated? Oh. Uh, she don't look so good. Wow. Water testing kit. I don't think it worked very well. Yeah. I'm collecting it. So, hi, I am Kesha McDermott. When the bombs fell, I was in Watoka, coordinating a statewide science fair for that year's high school kids. And the theme was the future of energy. After the bombs, everything was pretty chaotic. Scavenging for food and fighting off rabid survivors. Oh, it was just a bad time all around. I found a couple of surviving kids from the high school whose parents didn't make it. And we holed up in a house in town for a while. After a bit, I was able to solder the circuitry in an old radio, and we tuned in to a broadcast from the responders. Oh, we were overjoyed. The trip from Watoka to Flatwoods, it was rough, mind you. The kids and I ran into a group of assholes in the mountains who stole our food and water. I can't tell you how happy I was to find the responders in Flatwoods. Tents for everyone, open kitchens, medical supplies, protection. <laughs> we were safe. They had a problem, though. Their water sources were contaminated heavily. People were boiling water, but not long enough to make it safe. So, I stepped up and I said, I'll build a testing kit to monitor the contamination and I will teach folks how to properly boil water. <laughs> and I did. The world is getting better, but slowly. We need to make sure it doesn't relapse too. It's going to take time and care, that's all. Well, time, care, and science. I would imagine you got to boil that water for a very, very, very long time. A very long time. Analyze the water sample. Uh, boil water using dirty water and wood fuel. Okay. Uh, let's try and give that a go. So we're going to try and turn dirty, dirty water into clean water. Let's try and boil it. Yeah, I didn't realise I picked a guy. Look, he's got glasses. And he's got a ponytail. I mean... Oops. Um, <laughs> how many? Let's go for max of five. Do it. Is it done? Yay! Check in at the self-serve kiosk. Is that one of our jobs done? I hope so. Hi there. Hello. I'm going to go on a date. Sorry. Are you here for the responder training? As a matter of fact, I am. Then you're not alone. A lot of people come here because of that radio message the responders left. That's what brought me here, too. At first, I was planning to just do the training and move on, but honestly, I kind of like it here. I really enjoy meeting all the people that pass through and hearing their stories. Wait a minute. Are you one of those people who was in Vault 76? Uh... Sure am. I'm gonna I lie knew it. Bit. I could tell just by looking at you. I've always thought that life in a vault must be so amazing. With the <laughs> robots and all the machines <laughs> and having everything you need every day. 
Best of all, you're safe, which, let me tell you, is a thing us outsiders very rarely get to feel. Though I guess you're one of us now, so that's all in the past for you. I can go back inside, right? Is that even, is that even possible? Probably not. Anyway, um, I have done my task. Uh, that's the wrong one. Shoot. This one? Check volunteer status. Yay! Where do these bottle caps come from? Uh, a second helping. Oh, going to find her first. Delbert Winter. I love some of the animations they do in this game. When you complete a mission, so good. Alrighty, where are you? Reminds me of um, Band of the Brothers, Winters. Not sure that at home, apparently. Second helpings. I guess we're doing some more training. Gonna learn some of the basics. Again, if you guys want me to do a part two, let me know. Six boiled waters, purified waters, ammo, chemistry workbench. Game, you treat me too well. What's this? Do I have a new perk card? Don't tease me, game. Don't tease me. Status. Where would it be? Um, oh, level up. There we go. I don't know what I'm doing. You have reached level five. Oh, boy. Okay. Great. Strangers can team up. Uh, you have unopened perk packs. Yes, I'd love to open them. Thank you. Please give, give, give me something good. Iron fists. Running speed is increased. Reap twice as much from harvesting flora. Hmm. Wait, might be an attack. Feels like I'm being attacked. I don't like charisma. Sure. Gain six plus six resistance to damage and energy for each teammate. Oh man, I don't, I, I don't feel like I'm gonna have much teammates to be honest. <laughs> when eventually, like, there we go, Spella. Take ten percent less damage and gain ten percent AP regen. Oh, that's a good one. A little lone wanderer. That is definitely me. If we see anyone, sure, I guess we'll team up, but. Um, and then we're gonna go for. Damn it! Don't say I'm busy. God damn you! Idiot! Not say I'm busy. Stupid idiot. Um, but where was we? Charisma. Uh, hacker. For in oh, we can we can multiply them. Perfect. What's this one locked for? Da! Ah! I'll see if you level six. Okay. What are you doing, you absolute feral idiot? <laughs> it's so annoying when that happens. Uh, perception. Yeah, once we're level six, we can get this one. Ooh, why is everyone dead? Reverend Delbert Winters here, born and raised in this very town. Met my own church to the responders for their outpost here, and uh, you're welcome. The responders oh. are on a true mission, you see. Helping folks through thick and thin. Till the heavens open up again and take us all up anyway. When this all happened, I figured like most, it see was the time. Huh? This was the end. But, but it wasn't, was it? We're still here. At first, I thought it was a mistake. That we was missed, forgotten. Maybe we did some wrong. Didn't give enough to charity, maybe. Didn't praise his name, even in the worst of times. Maybe thought some things that ought not to have been thought. So I asked, I asked, how? Why? I fought your wars on Earth. I'm ready to fight them up there by your side. Then, in my despair, I saw some survivors eating raw rat carcass behind the dumpster. You ought to cook that first, I warned them. Seemed obvious. We tried but got sick, they said, covered in their own filth. I realized right then and there that I was being tasked. From then on, I built kitchens, 
cook good food. Fed anyone who walked up with an empty belly. And I was thankful for my task in life. Thankful. <laughs> Next time hell or high water land in my stew, I'll be swept clear away with it. But until then, let's share a home cooked meal together, alright? Let's eat some good ribeye steak. Probably not the quality you see in like a London restaurant, but yeah. <laughs> well, hey! Alright, check the responders using the database. Is there more? Are we okay? Is it done? Is it done? What's happening? Fingers crossed. Got a little bit of radiation from our adventures, but should be okay. Log in. Hope we did it. A large horde of Scorched is on the move and it might be headed for the main base. Oh no. All personnel are requested to report to HQ as soon as possible. Bring weapons, medical supplies. Oh boy. It is kicking off. Final departures. Do we know where to go? Let's see we do. Uh, ah, that's what it put. Where, where are we going? Not too far, right? I love the map design as well in this game. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Is that how we do it? Ah, oh, there it is. It's pretty far away from our base. Um, I can fast travel. What the hell? Actually, I don't know. I could, do, I could fast travel to other people's camps. That's pretty impressive. Should we go to Morgantown Airport? It's going to be quite... What the hell? Man, some people's levels are insane in this game. Was it 600, 500? How long does it take to get to that kind of level? I didn't realize the game had such insane longevity so for that even to be a remote option. What? Is this his base? What the hell? That is impressive. Has he got um, power armor as well? What the hell? That is impressive. Do you fancy um, teaming up? What the? <laughs> this is someone's base. Okay, sure. Right, so we are heading to Morgantown Airport. Let's go. I can hear some action to my left, but I'm gonna try and ignore it. Let's do that. Oh, hello. That's quite a few doggies. Help! Level. Level 50 guy. Level 50, 500 even. These guys are pretty vicious. <laughs> Says it in the name. We're near a camp. Oof. Well, at least we leveled up a little bit. Quite got the quick select down yet, but we'll work that out eventually. Let's just get to this airport and probably die. <laughs> probably gonna happen. I think it's now level five. Why is that? Doesn't seem fair to me. Why do you think just jump out of you randomly? God damn it. I had full health for a little bit. I'm even flying super mutants there as well. Man, plus nine radiation. That was not clean water. You do not. Whoa! Cheeky little devils. Damn it. I'm behind you as well. Where are you? Oh, 
if he could see me, but I could see him. Woo! But I think we should have stuff sorted out now. So we got, so we press one for a nice little stim pack. Survival tent, what is that? Well, right, so press one, see if this works. Yeah, okay, sweet. And then vats is Q, if there's someone available for me to vat into. So that will work now. I know these are, these are dead already, but I believe they give off some radiation, which I don't want right now. I think this is going to be an almighty fight right now. I'm pretty. If I if my memory serves me correctly, this might be tough. <laughs> um, we're getting slowly closer and closer to the airport. I feel like there's going to be a bunch of scorched here. Yep. I've had to get angry. Arrgh! That definitely hit. There we go. Woo! I've got a perk pack. And I'm level six. Level me up. Give me some cards. Uh, oh, that's that one. Uh, I'm going to go for endurance this time. Mm. Take 30% less radiation from eating or drinking. That could be quite good. Let's go for that. Yay! Right, lead belly. Bodyguard. So gain six plus six damage to damage of energy. Da, da, da. Okay. Ah, oh, it's when teammates though. Why? I already got that one. So is there any ways for me to rank it up? Yeah, there we go. Yes. So can I get... Please don't make me use this one. No! So can I take this one back? And then, there we go. Okay, I think I'm starting to get it. Let's leave those ones. I want to go straight through here. This doesn't seem like a particularly wise idea. Let's go around it. <laughs> Let's go around. That is a very interesting radio station. Okay, we're going to focus on the quest we're doing right now. I don't want to get too distracted. So there's going to be, there's going to be an almighty gunfight very, very soon. I wonder if some of these locations we obviously discovered. Can we just fast travel to these? Or... That doesn't sound nice. It's not sound friendly. Oh, we are pretty close here. Um, so yeah, that's Q, isn't it? Yep. Could probably do with some help, honestly. Uh, what performance are we running at? Whoa! 70, 72? Yeah. I'm going to throw another grenade now, aren't I? Yep. <laughs> you can't see it, but I had like an overlay up. Oh well. Is it not? There we go. So it's not, it's not as good as the previous games, the vats in this game, for sure. Whoa! Yeah, absolutely huge. Ah! I can't even aim for body parts. Oof. Don't I make it easy, do you? Yeah, take all the weapons. We can scrap it, we can sell it. We can do what we want. Oh, hello. IV bag. Oh, seriously, just dirty water. That sucks. Oh, there you go. I don't know what I did there, but thank you. I remember this place being absolute hell. <laughs> so, uh, wish me luck. I wouldn't say we were particularly um, overly equipped as well. We're going in anyway. Anyone here? 
Yeah, silly question. I can hear someone talking. Whoa, what was that? That was me. Jesus. Man, the echo. I do have a shotgun now. Which I'm tempted to whip out. Maybe we can even favourite it. Favourite! Uh, so that's... Let's give it a go. I've only got eight bullets, but... Eight shells. Is anyone here? Hello? Yeah, pre-war money is, um... Pretty pointless. It's all about the bottle cap. Ah, oh, it's just a message. There's no one actually alive. Anyone here? Seems oddly quiet. Place. Okay. Not been too bad so far. Shoot. I do not have an ID card. Open this one down here. I think so I was particularly impressed by the uh, shotgun there. Someone there, but all I can see is a weapon. Are you kidding me, mate? Shooting me through a door? The absolute cheek of it. Unbelievable. Some kind of some kind of holding cell? Oh, am I a bit heavy? Whoops. <laughs> Hunting rifle. Here we go. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit excessive here. Oh, thank you for that. Yeah, I've been picking up quite a bit of stuff, to be honest. Right, back to where we were just a second ago. Oh, we can't run anymore. <laughs> and when we walk, actually takes away action points. So I sort of sort that back out. I can't, I'll probably scrap a lot of stuff I've got. Or sell it. I like the um, echo you get when you're in buildings. Was that in the, the full release? Back in the day? Back in the... Did, it, did it come, this game come out in like 2000? Something like that. I remember like there was so much... It was a weird like... Everyone was so excited to hear that there was going to be like a new Fallout game. And then when... I think it was... Um, was it Jason? I was like, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a multiplayer game. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Don't joke about stuff like that. Oh. How do I manage to... to press all and right? It worked, though. Yeah. Oh. Quite a bit of radiation around here. Oof. Thanks for that. I'm going to get rid of some stuff soon, I know. Can't just keep picking stuff up. Shoot. One sec. Is this how we get... Oh, this works. What? Who are you? Taking flight lessons. So are every 
Now it feels like I walked into a nightmare. Those scorched things are everywhere. I kept quiet. They didn't see me. I managed to observe them for a bit. Whatever this disease is, it seems to completely take over its host. The ones that used to be human, eventually they go rigid, like some kind of stasis. And if they stay like that for too long, they sort of turn up from the inside out. Vesuvius in reverse. Do you not want a pickaxe? I wonder what could possibly cause all this. And then I got my answer. It swooped down from the sky, screeching, breathing, infecting everything. I don't know how to fight this. But we need to consider all our options. Even. Uh, what is she gonna do? Find the source of the scorched plane and wipe it from the map before it can leave Appalachia. But Are you not being a little first, bit extreme? We can't let the disease spread to us. Looks like the responders were developing some kind of inoculation. I'm going to pick up their work. You should too. This is the overseer. Do I have to? Signing off. How's this guy still alive? Well, well. Another visitor to the responder's graveyard. You must be pretty good to have gotten past all those mutants out there. Come to pay your respects to the fallen? Um, like you said, I'm here to pay my respects. That's good. Important to honor the memories of those we lost. I got a brother around here, somewhere, or maybe somewhere else. All I know, he was one of these responders. Came to check on him. It was a few years too late, looks like. Now, I'm just marking time while the cancer eats me up from inside. In the end, none of us can escape our fate. We'll all be food for the worm. Wow. You've um, really cheered me up. You've really cheered me up. Thank you, mate. Appreciate it. Um, no, it's I'm joking. But we need to. Oh, hello. Get down there to learn about this project. All right, I think I'm back at the entrance. Yeah. So we came in. Aha! Uh -huh. We're just going back outside. Oh, <laughs> didn't realize. Well, where are we going exactly? Where's this project? Is it close? It's fairly close. It's also getting a little bit late as well. Oh, hello. What a surprise, the scorched are here. Oh boy, Looking up again. Stop running towards me, thank you. How did the overseer get through this? There's no way the Overseer got through this. I refuse. Absolutely refuse. Oh, is this the place? I think we've found it. It's weird how when you get to like certain locations, it sort of um, sort of twigs little things in your brain. Like, oh yeah, I remember this bit. Is this it? Is this the place? Upstairs. Yeah, I remember this place. Well, well, well. Folks, I've got some exciting news to share. As we all know, Dr. Hudson has been continuing her research in the lab at the AVR Medical. Well, she's just reported in that to let us know that she made a significant breakthrough. And it looks like uh, an inclusion against the Scorch Plague could soon become a reality. Let's all keep our fingers crossed and make sure to do everything we can to help Claire complete her work. 
Our very survival depends on it. So let me guess this isn't going as well as maybe we hoped. Introduction. The Scorched Beasts. We first learned about the Scorched Beasts from the Brothers Hood of Steel, whose soldiers encountered the creatures on to the southeast. Okay. I'd love to give a detailed explanation of what the Scorched Plague is and how it works, but right now, we know so little. Oh, great. I hope by now that we've made one point crystal clear. The Scorched are lethal. They're nothing less than an... Oh, Jesus. Ex ex existential threat. Yes, that is 100% true. Oh, hello. Just give me that for free. Um, I don't... Let's study the research a bit more. Was this... What research do you want me to um, look at? Look at the map. Register for advanced responder training. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> yeah, we need to do some more, uh, some more research as well. Did we go through all the research? There's some messages, actually. Keep an eye out for Larry Pickman. He's been missing for a couple of days. I've been a member of the respondents almost for the, from the start. Like all of you, I put my life on the line to save the lives of others. More times than I can remember. Our mission is important. That's why we can't let the Brotherhood of Steel push us around. How dare you? Got some sad news, everyone. Some of you might have heard about Rachel already. And for those who don't know, she said goodbye to the responders and joined the Brotherhood of Steels. Unbelievable. What an absolute traitor. So this is where we've got to go and study uh, Dr. Hudson's research. It's all the way down here. Ah, I might potentially do the next episode. I'll probably start with the quest. What was it? For the Duchess, which is all the way over here. That's probably around our sort of level set. Who's this? Is someone having like a a night? What's going on there? Um, there's a lot of people in this game, which I guess is not massively surprising, that are incredibly high leveled. But there's a few newcomers as well. Um, let's, let's have a let's have a quick nosy. Oh, I'm currently a bit a bit full. Okay, great. Let's sort that out then. The Somerset pistol. Ooh, very nice. Oh, this is like responder uniform. That's quite cool. Got arrows. All right. Uh, let's get rid of some of these pistols. Drop, drop, drop. Is that enough? That should be enough now. Let's go and see. It's like a little party over here. Look. I feel, I feel left out. Um, you can rename the camp as well. We're level six. Again, let me know. Should we do a part two um, of the series? There's still so much to do. So much to explore. Um, obviously, I want to try and get some new weapons as well. You briefly spotted the shotgun, but apart from that, it's been um, it's been pretty quiet. So are they all in the wayward place around here? Yeah, there you go. Level 21. Level 2. Just start the game. There's lots of level 2s, actually. Howdy. Can you, can you give me like loads of weapons for free? Guess not. <laughs> uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Cannot wait to potentially do more in this game. I love Fallout. You guys know how much I love Fallout. And uh, yeah, see you guys soon. Bye-bye.